today we're gonna be reviewing the Jiminy's Pet Treats. They're pet treats made out of crickets and they claim to be sustainable, natural and good for your pets. So let's start reviewing them. First we have the Jiminy Original Cricket Cookie and this one is peanut butter and blueberry recipe. The ingredients are peanut butter, crickets, flat seed, lentil, blueberries, molasses, natural flavor, coconut oil, citric acid, buffered distilled white vinegar, sea salt, mistoco for rolls, a source of vitamin A, and rosemary extract. This one is our second treat. This one is the Jiminy Cricket Shoe Cricket Treat. This one is pea and sweet potato recipe and the ingredients are sweet potato, yellow pea, oat, cricket, vegetable glycerin, molasses, tapioca, vegetable gelatin, canola oil, salt, natural flavor, potassium sorbet, distilled vinegar, natural smoke flavor, garlic and rosemary. One of the claims that this company make is that crickets are more sustainable than cows, chicken and other sources where we get our treats for dogs and that their farmers are a lot smaller because the crickets are raised in barns so the footprint that they leave in our earth is a lot smaller than the traditional farming methods for cows, for chicken and other animals. One of the claims as well is that they use a lot less water. According to their website, they use less than 220 gallons of water per tree bag and they also have less greenhouse emission than traditional farming. Another of their claim is that they're hypoallergenic for your dog and also that the cricket protein is a prebiotic which is really nice because actually Venus's vet just recommended her to use prebiotic and probiotics because of the um, antibiotics that she's taking so that if that claim is true that's really good that this treat came just in the right moment and here say prebiotic cricket protein support healthy balance level of gut bacteria diversity in dogs. According to the Jiminy website, the way they kill the crickets is in a humane way, is made in the US. And the cricket they live more of their lifetime before they get harvest for making the treat versus other animals that they don't live as long life when they are being bred just to be used as meat or as chicken. I don't know if those claims are true or not because I haven't looked in depth in how they make other treats but if that's true that's really nice that the crickets live a long life before they are used for making treats I guess. One of the claims is that the crickets have more protein than other sources like beef. In their website says that the crickets have more protein than most animals. It's a superfood with protein, amino acid, omegas, calcium, magnesium, potassium, iron, vitamin B and B12, fiber, taurine and tryptophan. I'm not sure what those last two things are, but I guess they're good for your dog according to what they say. And he also mentioned that you have more iron than beef, so if your dog have a deficiency in iron, I think this will be a good treat for them. This treat was sent to us for a review. They didn't pay us for the review, but they did send the treats for free. And I have to confess, when we got the, when I got the email and I saw crickets, I was like, crickets for dogs? And I actually have to do a little bit of research, a little bit of Googling to see if it was okay to feed crickets for your dog. Cause I was like, I have never had, I never heard of nobody giving crickets to a dog. But apparently they are really good and they are very nutritious and they give a good source of protein according to what I saw on the friends websites in Google. So if you're like me that you were a little hesitant, before you buy them do your research, before you buy anything actually, before you buy any treat do your research, make sure you're okay with giving your dog the treats. All I read it was good things about it so I feel confident giving it to the dogs. 
but again if you don't feel confident do your own research this company seemed really good they're based in the state of california and everything is made in the u.s and the crickets are also farmed in the u.s so all of that is really good i want to also mention that in their website say that they are hypoallergenic but have in mind that this one in specific have um, peanut butter so if you or your dog are allergic to nuts have in consideration that this one have nuts overall they seem like a good treat Venus loved them she was in love with both of them the peanut butter and the pea sweet potato Apollo in the other hand he hated the peanut butter one but he loved this pea and sweet potato this one is a soft to um, a soft treat maybe that was the reason Apollo liked this one because this one is a hard treat let me show you so this is how the shoe look and this is how the cookie look Apollo didn't like this one at all I know I don't know if it was the texture or the smell this one smell a little bit fishy and he doesn't like things that smell fishy or it smells a little bit like it will have a fish oil, even though it doesn't have and it doesn't mention any fish oil. It has that type of fishy smell. This one in on the other hand it smells really good. It smell smell a little bit like beef jerky kind of smell. So I think that was the reason Apollo liked this one and not this one. But Venus loved all of them. Venus, do you like it? Stay. it for today's video thank you for watching see you in the next one bye